Tell me about the time you had to solve a complex problem. This question is an excellent opportunity for you to show the interviewer how you think on your feet, your problem solving skills and how you handle pressure. Many candidates struggle with this question, often because they can't quickly recall specific examples from their past or they don't fully understand what the interviewer is looking for. They might not realise that sharing a detailed story about the challenge they overcame can really highlight their strengths and capabilities. That's why today we're going to tackle this interview question head on, really get stuck into how to impress the interviewer with our knowledge, our skills and our experience. In this video, I'm going to reveal to you the perfect way to structure your answer in just five easy, straightforward steps. I will also share with you the seven most common mistakes candidates make so you can avoid them. Many people struggle choosing what to talk about when answering this question, so I'm going to give you three things to think about when picking the story from your experience. And then finally, we'll combine everything we've learned into one game-changing example answer. If you hate the sound of my voice, you should check out the show notes for a link to a text article on this topic. Other than that, let's begin. We are going to start off with answer structure and the five steps to take to construct the perfect response. These type of questions, often called competency-based questions, are all about sharing your experience with the interviewer. The interviewer wants to hear what you did, how you did it, and maybe most important of all, why you did it. In order to achieve this, your answer needs to be well structured. You need to ensure that you hit all the key points that you want the interviewer to hear in a logical order, while also avoiding the urge to ramble on. The best way to pull this off is by using the B star method. Using this method, you will split your answer into five parts. The first is the B stands for belief. You want to begin your response by sharing your thoughts and feelings regarding the subject matter. This helps set the stage for your answer and demonstrate your personal connection to the topic. If this doesn't make much sense to you, don't worry, our example answer will be using this structure later in this video. Next up we have S for situation. Briefly describe the context or background of the scenario in which your actions took place. This provides the interviewer with an understanding of the circumstances surrounding your experience. Remember, it's essential to keep this part concise, as the primary focus should be on your actions and the results. Just give the interviewer the quick who, what, where, when and why. Following the situation, we have T for task. Explain your specific role and responsibilities in the situation. Up next, we have the most important section, and that is A for action, or activity if you prefer. Describe the steps you took to achieve the desired outcome and explain the rationale behind your actions. This part of your answer should be the mo most detailed as it shows the interviewer just what you are capable of doing. And finally, we have R for the results. Conclude your response with the results of your actions using figures or quantifiable outcomes wherever possible. This will demonstrate to the interviewer the impact of your efforts and your ability to deliver tangible results in your role. This is also where you could share any lessons you learned from the experience. Now you know the ideal structure to use when answering this question. Next up, you need to pick the best example from your experience to tell the interviewer. Later on, I will share three tips for picking the perfect example. But for now, let's look at some of the most common mistakes candidates make when addressing this question. Firstly, do not avoid the question. The interviewer has asked this question for a reason. Ensure your answer is relevant to what has actually been asked and not what you want to talk about. Do not downplay the situation. Don't undersell the importance of the task at hand and how important it was to your organization's goals. Do not overhype the situation. Pretty much the opposite of what we've just said. Be honest about the task without exaggerating. Do not give a one sentence answer. Provide enough detail to demonstrate that you know what you are talking about. Do not overly describe the scenario and miss the action. Discuss the situation, but use more time on your actions than on any description. Do not have a passive role in the situation. Don't just be a backseat driver. Get up front and show the interviewer you were an active participant in what was transpiring. And finally, do not forget to mention what was learned. It's crucial to discuss the lessons taken from the experience. 
Mentioning lessons learned indicates an ability to grow from experiences and shows the interviewer that you're always looking for ways to improve. So we've explored how to construct our response and we've also looked at pitfalls to avoid when answering this question. Next, let's delve into selecting the most effective example to use in our answer. Think about the following points when you're coming up with stories from your experience to tell the interviewer. The first thing your answer should have is a positive outcome. Choose an example that can only be described as a success. A success driven by you and one which you can use to showcase the benefits of your actions. This is not to say you can't have taken lessons away from the venture. And it is always good to talk about how you would improve upon your actions in the future. But the underlying situation should be resolved successfully when you are outlining your answer. The second thing your example should be is relevant to the job you are applying for. Choose an example that is closely related to the job you are applying for. An example that is from the same industry or sector would be the most preferable. A good trick here would be to learn what upcoming work your new team has in the pipeline and use examples from your past that are relevant to that work. And finally, your example should represent a challenge. Look for examples where you faced a significant challenge or problem and were able to resolve it effectively. Put simply, you are trying to impress the interviewer. Make sure your example isn't some one of the mill situation that anybody could have fixed. Pick an example which shows that only you had the skills or know how to get the job done. OK, so this is probably the part of the video you've been waiting for. This is where we put everything we've learned together and see a B-star example in action. Again, the question being answered is, tell me about the time you had to solve a complex problem. In my previous role, I always believed in the power of teamwork to solve complex issues. We faced a significant challenge when our sales figures dropped unexpectedly by 15% in just one quarter. This was alarming for the company's growth trajectory. The situation was that our main product was losing market share to a competitor who had recently upgraded their offering. As a team leader, my task was to devise and implement a strategy to regain our market position and to boost sales numbers. To address this, I initiated a comprehensive market analysis with my team to understand the competitor's advantages and our product shortcomings. We discovered that our product lacked certain features that had become industry standards. Based on this insight, I coordinated with the product development and marketing teams to expedite the introduction of these features and to launch a targeted marketing campaign highlighting our product's unique selling points. The result of these actions was a significant turnaround in sales figures. Within two quarters, we not only recovered the lost 15%, but also achieved an additional 10% increase in sales. This success not only boosted team morale, but also reinforced my belief in leveraging collective strengths to overcome challenges. From this experience, I learned the importance of swift data-driven decision-making and cross-departmental collaboration in addressing business challenges. It was a testament to how understanding market needs and internal collaboration can lead to tangible results. All right then, that wraps up our analysis of this interview question. I hope by watching this video, you'll be more prepared for this question than your next interview. Speaking of being prepared, if there are any other interview questions you struggle with, let me know in the comments and we will tackle that question in our very next video. Until then, I hope your next interview is a success. Take care and goodbye from me.